Good morning, BNGO investors and investors in general. Uh, you haven't seen me for a while. My name is Mark Nedjma from Newsweed.com. You can always reach out to me, give me a call. My number is 215-219-7666. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much to Brandon uh, for being a part of Newsweed. He's really uh, created some fantastic videos on his opinion uh, from a Gen Z perspective. Uh, I consider him a very wise young man, uh, ambitious. Uh, he will stumble and make some mistakes, but that's part of being 19 years old. Can you just imagine? So when you have a chance, come back to newsweed.com and take a look at Brandon's videos. I find them very enlightening. Uh, the world is kind of crazy today. Uh, I'm very happy, actually, that the Virginia race went Republican. I think it's, uh, it's important for uh, the stock market as well as for America to balance uh, the political uh, uh, environment. Uh, getting back to BNGO, we're taking a look at some of the stock prices right now. I'm going to look back at my board. Uh, I see that we're trading at 591. I want to point out to you that there were some videos that were put up by some other YouTubers, and that was intentional. You'll find a lot of videos these days from uh, people that short. Uh, you'll find a lot of videos uh, from people that are positive. Uh, but one video in particular that I watched early this morning was trying to point out that if the stock goes to 586, it's likely to fall much further. Now, conveniently, the institutions have been buying lots and lots of shares of the stock. And they are the ones that are shorting and trying to get you, the retail investor, out. That's why they brought the stock way down from 623 this morning down to 586 to try to give you the convincing notion that 586 is where the stock would, would die. Uh, we had positive news today from the company. The company has done virtually nothing wrong in the year that I've owned the stock, and I'm very pleased with its performance. Uh, we have earnings coming out tomorrow, uh, which is either going to be good or not so great. Uh, and again, that information can be manipulated. Uh, I would say that uh, listen closely to Mr. Investalot, listen closely to Brandon, uh, listen closely to Frankla. But my opinion is this. The stock took off about a year ago. Uh, and in February, it had its high. I bought in last June or July and held it and then bought more in December. Uh, that's a key uh, indicator that, you know, a year has passed and the stock price is going to look a lot differently. You know, we have a high of 1569. Once we get to December, we're going to have a low of about, uh, you know, $2. In February, we're going to have a low of about uh, $6. Now, when people look at that data, they're going to say, oh, this, is, this might be a really good stock to buy. I think it's a great stock. Um, I've seen nothing but positive information. They've had a lot of new personnel come aboard. From my logic, uh, I can't imagine the uh, earnings being that good for the third quarter because they've had so much going on. The people that have joined the company have kind of sent the message that, wow, this is a great company. I'll take the stop, stock options. Uh, the purchases that they've made uh, have been for sensible companies like uh, the software company. Uh, and I think that, uh, uh, you know, some of the moves that they've made over the year are going to start to pay off in the numbers. Right now is the time right before all that data comes out. So there's going to be a lot of manipulation of the stock and a lot of information we put out on YouTube, uh, on Yahoo, on StockTwits, on Discord. And it's going to try to drive you out of the stock. So from here, with my 991,000 shares, regardless of where the price goes, I'm holding. I know it's an old story. You heard it from me all the time. I know there's a naysayers out there that say, no way you don't owe them any, own that many shares. But in fact, I do. Uh, big announcement. You know, I did a couple of roofs uh, recently, uh, and uh, it just doesn't make sense for me to continue doing it. So I'm out, and uh, it's because BNGO has given me the opportunity for a completely different lifestyle. Uh, thanks for listening. 
I'll be holding. Uh, I expect the price to be somewhere around five fifty, six bucks after earnings. I'm still going to hold. Um, I'm sure that the fourth quarter earnings when we hear in February will be much better than what we hear uh, tomorrow uh, on Thursday, November 4th. And uh, I'm fine with where we stand. Looking forward to uh, heading out to the shareholders meeting uh, once that happens in San Diego. I will be in San Diego and La Jolla uh, in uh, January uh, 25th through the 30th. I'd love to have... Uh, lunch with Eric or buy lunch for the entire staff at BN, uh, BNGO. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all of you from BNGO for uh, attempting to do great things in the genomics industry. Uh, and I look forward to meeting all of you. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.